going to install into the slot that the anchors once were. As you can see, it's rectangle and the jacknut is round. It is a kind of a snug fit. What you're going to be using is a real simple tactic is we're just going to make it fit using a hammer. And then they're in. Now, you want to install every jacknut before we try to put in the cow and any of the bolts. You'll be able to see here is it will be able to slide into position. So once all the jacknuts are in there, we'd be able to locate the jacknut through the cowl by just moving these around to where we need them. When you installed all your jacknuts, you're going to notice this middle one's going to be raised a little bit. That's not to worry. This jacknut will compress and, and this piece there will then sink down to the cowl. Don't be worried that this piece is sticking up here. It's just kind of caught in some steel that's behind it. That's not going to be a problem once we start installing. The jack nuts are in place, and now we're going to be reinstalling the cowl. To get it to fit with the hood on, you'll have to bend it just a little bit to get across the hinge, whether they're factory or aftermarket like this on this car. It shouldn't break on you, but remember it's like really old plastic and it would might want to, so just take care when doing that. Now that the cow's on and the jacknuts are in place, remember that I told you that the jacknuts will slide into, slide into your position that you need, need them to align. We're going to be putting in our bolt. Our bolt will screw through the cowl, and as you can see I'm using this pick here to, to find and locate the jacknut. The bolt will screw through the cowl and into the jacknut. This could take a little bit of time or practice. If you want to use a tool to screw it through the cowl, you can. If you need to lift up the cowl to kind of locate the jacknut as you're doing it, you can. What, the, how the jacknut works is, is it's threaded on the end of it. So we're going to be screwing the bolt through the cowl and then starting to screw it into the jacknut. The jacknut may want to spin because it's not compressed. How the jacknut works is it's an open piece and then it, um, it comes together and then squeezing itself to the body of the car. And so that's what we're doing right now is that we're locating the jacknut, we're screwing it through the threads once I can start feeling it. Then I'm going to start adding the rest of the bolts, not tightening anything, just starting them. The next section is the last section is the most vital and critical part. First off, we're dealing with the glass itself and then the cowl. How the jacknut works and compresses is you're going to put pressure on the cowl. You have to put pressure on the cowl to keep the jacknut from spinning as you're tightening down the Ellen head bolt. So you're going to use the cowl to, to, to hold it down, but while doing that, we're going to be using uh, this impact gun. You can do it by hand, but I would prefer you use it this way because it's just faster and it can compress it easier. But when doing that, remember that the windshield is here and the cowl is going to want to press it on it hard, so pay attention to what you're doing here so you don't crack your glass with the window in place. Alright, that one's completed, and we're just going to move on. And that's now, what I'm doing is, is until I start feeling a, a, enough tension that's going to keep the cow tight, then that's enough for me. Um, just because I'm kind of nervous about how this windshield is and if it was, if the glass was installed after, like if it's aftermarket installed, the glass could be higher or lower than some. And I'm just nervous about cracking the glass. So I'm just taking it easy. I'm just kind of feeling to see how tight it is. If it needs a little bit more, then I'm giving it a little bit more. Doing it by hand, you probably be able to feel it a little bit better. And that might be a better option if you're uncomfortable. Like this one's a little bit loose and I can kind of feel it and you can kind of see it. So I'm going to keep some more pressure on it. There we go. Now it's tight. We're going to move on. This one we might actually have to do by hand because it's a little hard to. Oh, no, no. There it is. I can position the jack net to where I need it. 
and there it is and that's just a really simple update looks pretty sharp all the securing mechanisms are in place and it could be yours too let's take an overview of how it looks And this can be yours. Hushperformance.com.